Hi, I'm Terry Carter from Saddlebrook Stables in Castlehane, North Carolina. And today I'm going to talk to you about how to do a flying lead change. For this you will need a bridle, a saddle, and space. The best way to do it is to be able to bend your horse on a figure eight pattern. What you can do is you can start out on your right lead canner, making a circle to the right. In the center of the figure eight pattern, you can break to the trot, bend your horse to the left, and then pick up your left lead canner, making a circle to the left. When you come up the center of your figure eight pattern again, you break to the trot, bend your horse to the right, canner a circle to the right. You keep doing this over and over again until your horse gets the idea that the lead is going to be changed. What you're doing essentially is a simple lead change to start with when you break to the trot and pick up the other lead. Eventually what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to come through the center of the pattern, change your bend while still in the canner, and complete your flying lead change without ever breaking down to the trot. Your horse, of course, is taught by repetition, repetition, repetition. So don't expect your horse to do it perfectly the first time or even within the first week or month. Eventually, though, your horse will get the idea, and as long as you're bending correctly and moving forward correctly, your horse will rearrange its leg pattern in a flying lead change successfully. And that is how to do a flying lead change.